Hi guys, Misha Crossing here with a new episode of Pokemon Moon. Let's just hop back into it. Um, I was just told about the new fun island challenges, and I was also given my Rotom Pokédex, both very exciting new features uh, to Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now, um, I think Lily should be showing me around. Well, maybe not. She was telling me, um, or he, Professor Kakui was saying that Lily was gonna help lead me around, but I suppose. Oh, okay. So I could have gone down the ledge, but tall grass is the other way to go. I'm gonna. I don't want to go through a ton of tall grass. So I don't want to run into a ton of Pokemon. I'm sure I might run into one, yeah. So I don't want the whole video to just be Pokemon battles. Oh, here's a wild wingle. Go, Pichu. Get him. Right out of the sky. Alright. Thundershock will probably get him in one hit. I would bet. Yep, there he goes. Bye, buddy. Um, I hope the audio is better in these videos. It was kind of, uh, the game audio was quiet in the last few videos, and I'm sorry about that. I really didn't realize it until after I recorded. Um, but it looks like I've got a little objective, or a goal to go on my map, which is Lily. Okay, cool. Lily, hold on a moment. Let me show you the Pokemon Center first. Oh, our first Pokemon Center. Yay. If you see <laughs> smoke coming across the screen. Sorry, it's uh, it's incense. I promise no one's smoking in here. The only other person thing in here is my cat, and she definitely doesn't smoke, at least not that I've noticed. Okay, so Lily says, um, if you talk to the woman at the counter, she can restore your Pokemon to perfect health. It's amazing, isn't it? Isn't it? I can't stand seeing Pokemon in pain. Hmm. You can also deposit Pokemon in the PC here or take them out. Yeah. And at the Pokemart, you can buy all kinds of items that should help you during your trials. I'd take a look if I were you. Oh, don't worry, I will be taking a look. Over there is the cafe area. I like to relax there sometimes with a frosty glass of Moo Moo milk. <laughs> God, that sounds terrible. I do not like drinking milk on its own. Chocolate milk? Sure. Cookies? I mean, cookies and milk? Sure. But just milk on its own? Ugh. Lily. I read something in a travel guide about Alola once. Apparently each Pokemon Center in Alola offers a different selection of drinks. I wonder how they pick what to serve. The cafes also offer more than just drinks. I've heard they also sell special treats, that sometimes the staff have tips for and that sometimes the staff have tips for trial goers. Nice. Alright, we should pick up some good tips here and get some good items. Oh, but after this, yeah, we'll go to the trainer school. But have your Pokemon taken care of first if you think they need a little aid. Definitely. Alright, so... Um, oh, wrote them down there saying I've set the trainer school as our destination. Um, cool. So, hello, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, nurse, I would. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. Oh, there they all are. They flash up on the screen. Oh, that looks really cool. Guys, that looks really cool. Thanks for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Thank you. Alright, let's go check out this cafe. Welcome to the Pokemon Center Cafe. The time in Alola is now 13 o'clock. Okay. Uh, here in our cafe space, we provide a moment of peace to our customers. Oh, you've given your Pokemon nine Pokebeans. Pokebeans make Pokemon happy. I think they'll give you a present. Or I think I'll give you a present. Rare candy! Yes. Nice. Try giving your Pokemon some Poke Beans when your island challenges or when your island challenge gets rough. What is it? Is it like a what are those? What are the things in a um, Dragon Ball? Jitsu beans or something like that? Well, magic beans. What can I get started for you today? Um, oh, give me some lemonade. Yes, Beyonce. <laughs> I'll get lemonade. Uh, lemonade will be 198. Is that all right? Oh my god, I have so much money. Okay, I mean, why not? You know, get some lemonade. If you'll give me just a moment. There you are. One lemonade just for you in a coffee mug. This is our cafe's original blend, made with plenty of freshly picked Alolan berries. Its intensely sweet flavor will linger on pleasantly for hours. 
By the way, are you going to the Poke Palego? My Pokemon are spending their days on an island far away from me. I hope they're having a good time out there. You, you're limited to one per day, but have a tea biscuit on us. These cookies are a special tea from Lava Ridge Town in the Hoenn region. How cool! I got a lava cookie. You opened up the medicine pocket, put the lava cookie in. Cool. How cool. I'll have to go see what that is. I bet it does something to fire type moves. Um, we'd like to offer your Pokemon something on the house. Oh my god, he's giving me so many things. I got some more Poke Beans. They're a specialty in Alola and Pokemon left to eat them. Feed them to your Pokemon and Pokemon refresh and they'll become more affectionate. Please come visit us again soon. Yes. Thank you. What a nice man. <laughs> Give me so many things. Uh, I would like to buy some things at the Pokemart, please. Okay. So I have eight Pokeballs in my bag. I'll get two more. Mmm... Yeah, I mean, I think 10 will be. I have so much money, though. Let me just get five more. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get Great Balls soon. So I don't want to have, like, too many regular Pokeballs. Um, definitely need... Um... More potions. And I might as well, um get one of everything. I think I already have- yeah, I already have a Paralyze Heal. Um, but yeah, I might as well get one of everything. Oh, that's expensive. Forgot. And I'll go ahead and get like 10 repels because I might wind up in an area that I <laughs> um, just don't want to run into a lot of Pokemon in. Like a cave, for example. God, caves are the worst. Okay, uh, I wanted to buy... I have so much money, I might as well buy... more potions. And a few more Pokeballs, why not? Okay. We're done here. <laughs> nope, no thank you. Hey, let me look at my... um... bag. Oh, I have new... options down here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> These are a lot of things. Can I move this? Yes! Nice. Cool, you can move your little menu options around. Um, quick link. If you and a person who want to play with both, both keep touching your lower screens, you two will be connected. Cool, I don't have anyone here to do that with, but maybe one day. Aw, Joey and I should play together sometime. That would be fun. Um, I mean... I don't know what we're gonna do if we play together. Um, except for trade. Okay, so what's the festival plaza? Let's take a look at the festival plaza. Oh my god, look how cute! What? Look at the festival plaza. I'm Sophocles. Okay. Isn't that a philosopher's name of some kind? Oh, this is pretty! I can't... I feel like I've heard of this in one of the videos. I don't remember what it is. This is a secret place where you can come to play using communication features. We're holding a festival where trainers can interact right now. We need someone to welcome those who have come here to play. You kind of seem like someone who will pay a lot or play a lot using communication features. There's something you can do for me. Help me liven up this festival. How? Just to... Oh. Okay, so you gotta help me out right away. Someone has come to play right now, right? Go have a chat with them. Okay. Let's have a chat. Oh, Alola. <laughs> I came here because I heard that a festival is going on and many trainers are here. You're the host, aren't you? Do you know what to do when you see visitors? Hmm. I have no idea. Nothing difficult. Just do what you did. Speak to visitors and answer their questions or just respond to them. They'll give you something as thanks. Just like this. Please take it. 2FC. You've collected 2FC. What are FC? Please speak to visitors. I hope you'll boost the mood of the festival. Aww. Tell me, tell me, what? Okay, I did it, dude. You crushed it. <laughs> Thank you. If you respond to the request of someone who has come to play, they'll give you festival coins as a token of their appreciation. Festival coins are sometimes called FC, so try to remember that. You can use FC at the facilities in Festival Plaza. Oh, right, I better tell you about the facilities. <laughs> yeah, please. 
at a lottery shop, you can get a most excellent prize if you win. Okay. At a bouncy house, your Pokemon can train while it plays. Aw, how good for them. Good. At a haunted house, you can get items if your Pokemon reaches the goal. <gasps> cool! At a dye house, they can change the color of your fashion items. Awesome. There are still a bunch of other facilities, so you can look forward to those. Cool. I didn't know about this. <laughs> All more people. People have come to play. Respond to their requests and you'll get festival coins. So are these... I mean, it says it's using communication features, so do I get to... Um, play with other actual people? Or is it just all, you know, NPCs? Do you know how to find people who want you to listen to their stories? Listen to their whispers? What? Impressive. Please take this as a token of my thanks. You received two FC. Yay! When you get close to visitors, you'll notice that they are whispering. Listen to their whispers carefully and find people who have a favor to ask you. Oh, that's <laughs> their whisper is what pops up above their head. That sounds so, um... I don't know, it just sounded creepy. Listen to their whispers. Do you know how to invite people to your festival plaza? <laughs> Communicate! So, I'm just answering, like, tutorial sort of questions. Oh. My festival plaza went up to two. Sophocles is happy. Go back to the front of the castle. Okay. Play a lot using communication features to invite a lot of people. People near you can come via local wireless communication, and people far away come via the internet. Okay, cool. I will have to, um, really delve into this more soon. You crushed it! If you get a lot of festival coins, that means you've livened things up by entertaining those who have come to play, so your festival plaza rank will go up. Oh right, let me give you a reward as thanks for raising the rank. Let's build a new facility in this open spot. It's run by a veteran. It's a die house, Team Yellow. A die house, Team Yellow. Okay. Team Yellow came to your festival plaza. <laughs> okay. Cool. I don't really know what it all means, but I'm excited. Whenever your rank goes up, I'll give you a cool reward. Respond to requests and get a lot of festival coins. Okay. And inside the castle, there's staff who will help you. Check it out later. Deal. Finally, let you tell me. Let me tell you something important. When you're in Festival Plaza, you connect to other players via local wireless communication or the internet. I'll set everything up, so give it a try. Sorry, I've got something to do right now, but Festival Plaza is in your hands. <laughs> now you can use the menu on the lower screen. Try a battle or a trade. When you want to leave Festival Plaza, press the X button or tap the back button on the lower screen. Okay, so... people just show up here. I want to make my Pokemon happy. Take me to a place that Pokemon can enjoy. Okay. Cool. Um. Is that the... I mean, it's the, it's the bouncy house. I don't know which one the bouncy house is called, though. I guess... Big Dreams? I don't know. Too bad. How I feel right now is what? I'll take you soon. Hold on, let me let me go see what the bouncy house is called. Welcome to a bouncy house. Okay, Thump Bump Park. Let's hear about it. You can let your Pokemon play and train here. You need to spend festival coins for admission. Okay, how much is it? Of course, B one is five coins. Playing in it raises the Pokemon's base attack stat a little bit. Playing in D1 raises the Pokemon's base special attack stat a little bit. Cool. I'll have to look this up more and maybe come back, back later. Because um, I just I still want to go through um, the main game right now. <laughs> I'm sorry I kind of spent a lot of time in there. But that was fun. Oh, I didn't need the map. That's not what I needed. Um, okay, I'll look at some other stuff down here soon. Oh, I've got a little notification in the Festival Plaza. I guess that means that things are waiting for me to do something. Um, and then let me go look at the new items I got. So the rare candy, um, 
It will instantly raise the level of a single Pokemon by one. I should do that with... Um... I mean, I should give it to, uh... Oh wait, I don't want to give it to them to hold. Hold on. Use it on... Yeah, I'll use it on Rowlet. Since Pichu's gonna be out front, um, I'll let Rowlet get that experience. And then I've got new things in here. Oh, I've got my escape rope and my, my repel. Where's... Oh, there's the lava cookie. Lava Ridge is town's local specialty. It can be used once to heal all the status conditions of a Pokemon. Cool. Awesome. Alright, so let's head to the trainer school. Because, yep, we're going right down here. Here we are. You see, the trainer school is... It's a... What in the world? <laughs> what is it? <gasps> Buddy. <laughs> well, it looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon, thanks to Tauros there. <laughs> but we're only... We were only planning to go as far as the trainer school anyway. We'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come, follow me. We'll just l leave that wild animal. So, uh, Rotom's asking, so is the trainer school where trainers go to learn? But I didn't get the rest of it. Oh, here we are. Hey there, Misha. I must have passed you two somehow, yeah? But welcome to the trainer school, the place to learn how to be a Pokemon trainer. Yes. Is this the child you told me about? Yeah, put her through the ringer, Teach. Hey, four trainers. You've got to beat four Pokemon trainers here at the school, Misha. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger. Actually, speaking of experience, why don't you take this? Ooh, I got the experience share. Good. If you keep that experience share on, yeah, all the Pokemon on your team can get experience points for battle. Duh. The trainers who will take part in this lesson may be inside or outside the school. You may also want to visit our classrooms. You'll be sure to learn a lot. Alright, let the lesson begin. I'm probably not going to go around to all the classrooms, um, just because I've played Pokemon games before, so I know what's going on. Um, but I might stop in a couple. Kakui says she may not look all that tough, but that teach trains her kids right. One of her students is even a captain. If you want a bit of advice from me, here's something that might help. Once you've fought a species of Pokemon once, you can easily see what types of moves will work best on it in your next battle. Wandering about in the tall grass to meet lots of different Pokemon will help with that. Battle all the time, oh yeah. <laughs> Wrote him saying, find those four Pokemon trainers. You find them, battle them, you beat them. <laughs> okay, what's this? Let's learn and grow. Let's grow and train. Unsullied, enjoyable, and academic. Everyone starts at the beginning. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, a thing! Yay, a potion. Wonderful. Oh, here's one trainer. I've been waiting here for you because the teacher told me to. If you beat my Pokemon, I'll give you a simple but very important lesson. <laughs> I bet it's something I know already. What do you think, guys? Oh, she's cute. Youth athlete Hiromi. Or Hiromi. Hiromi, probably. She's cute. Aww. Batting her Pokeballs out with her, uh, not a paddle, um, bat, uh, uh, tennis bat, tennis, <laughs> I don't know why I can't think of what it's called, oh, pick a peck, let me use my thunder shock on you, it will obliterate you, aw, but you're lowering my attack, is thunder char, or thunder shock, it's a special attack, right, I don't know. Oh yeah, paralyzed him. Go Pichu. Nice. This one will, yeah, definitely get him. There he goes. Did she only have one? I don't think I looked. Nice, gained a lot of experience. Everybody gained experience. Oh, Pick a Peck finally leveled up to level four. And I defeated her. Oh, that's game and set, isn't it? You received 224 for winning. God, I have so much money already. Uh, if you use items or moves to boost your team's stats, you can increase how much damage your Pokemon deal and lessen how much they take. And if you ever want to be a Pokemon champion, then that's a total basic. You got that? Uh-huh. Promise. Definitely got it. <laughs> I wish there was an option um, 
for you to only go through the tutorial stuff that is brand new to Sun and Moon because I I know like all of the basics um, that they're teaching so if there's an option to be like quick tutorial skip all the basic stuff from previous games you want to know why I'm standing here? That's because I'm the strongest. That's why I won't even bother battling you unless you can beat everyone else here. Ooh. Big kahuna on campus, huh? He's the best. Alright, so I gotta go defeat two more people, and then I can defeat him. Is this one of my people I gotta... <laughs> Boy, you're awful close. Stand so close and all in a battle you. Is that what you want, huh? Is it? Yep, sure is. Then I'll show you how I like to fight. Up close and personal. <laughs> She looks really cute. Is she cute? Oh my god, she's adorable. Preschooler Mia. Ugh. She's adorable. So now, Bonsley! Aww. Cute little tree baby. Look at my cute little Pichu baby. Little electric mouse baby. Um... I might actually want to... I'll use Thundershock once and then I need to switch out, um... I should switch out Pichu with Rattata. And I definitely won't be keeping Rattata on my team for long. It's just because he's, you know, an Alolan uh, specific. Or an Alolan uh, 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 variation. <laughs> Makes him fun to have for a little bit. Um, yeah, I'll go with Rattata. Why not? Yeah, I mean, once I catch a couple more Pokemon, I'll say goodbye to Rattata, but he's fun to see. Oh, wait, what did he just do? Oh. Hey! He's Thundershock. That was cheap. Actually, it wasn't cheap. That was good. <laughs> um, I'll try to use... Okay, good. I used Quick Attack. <laughs> Barely did any damage. Oh, my special defense harshly fell. I guess I need to switch out Pokemon again. Goodness. Um, I just want to get this one over with, so let's bring Rowlet out here. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Haven't seen you in a while. Oh, he's flailing. Don't you dare paralyze me. Whew. Looks like it might. Um, let's peck him. Let's peck him, guys. Oh no! <laughs> See, I do need the uh, little note showing me what's effective and what's not effective. <laughs> I don't know all of them. I know, like, I don't know, the more basic ones. I guess that one's probably not going to be effective either since he's probably, uh... Ooh! It's super effective. Okay. What? You just died! Oh my god, yes. One little percent left. I'm gonna tackle him. Tackle him and take him out. Yes. It's not very effective, but he fainted. God. That one took a minute. Oh, definitely wanna care for my babies. Yay! Peachy leveled up. And Big a Big leveled up. God. And I defeated the preschooler. Won't be as close. Ah, won't be as close to my Bonsley. What? She's adorable. <laughs> It's the third time I've said she's adorable, but she's adorable. Okay, let's brush all this gunk off of little Rowlet here. I'll give him a Pokey Bean too. He did a good job. Came in handy for me. What all Pokey Beans did I get? Oh, I got a bunch of these orange ones. This is what the uh, guy at the cafe gave me. Good job, buddy. Pet him once. And then I should also take care of Pichu, because Pichu did a lot, well, not a whole lot, but <laughs> he helped. Really? He's not dirty at all? He was out there in battle. Give him one bean here. Aww. And then Rattata was also out there for a minute. Oh yeah, he's paralyzed, so I will use the medicine on him, and that heals his status can- Really? Oh, I have to rub it on him? 
Okay, I rubbed it. I'm rubbing it on him. And that's gonna heal a status condition. Nice! That was cool. And he deserves a treat now. Sorry I got you paralyzed, buddy. And I'll pet him. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. <laughs> Let's move on. I really like the Pokemon uh, refresh. It's really cute. Your style of battle. It's pretty great, you know. Hey, thanks. <laughs> oh, little corner with um, Alola Meowth. Oh, who's this little guy? Meowth, use fake out. Make your opponent flinch. <laughs> He's learning. Is this another person I have to battle? Look at your Pokemon. Whether it has any claws or not now, it would probably get a kick out of this one. Oh, you obtained a Quick Claw. Okay. In Pokemon battles, the Pokemon with the highest speed stat gets to act first. But with a Quick Claw, your Pokemon should be able to attack first regardless of its speed. Or sometimes, anyway. It's better than nothing. So I should give that to, uh... I'll give it to somebody. Sorry, I just heard a <laughs> siren outside. Uh... Oh yeah, got that on... A slight sharp claw lets the bear move first occasionally. Okay, well I'll uh, give it to Rowlet for right now since he's kind of slow. Uh, so is Pichu. He's a little slow. No, Pichu's fast. He was fast, but Rowlet is quite slow, so he deserves that quick claw. Now where else do I need to go to battle? Might need to go upstairs. That's on a route over there. Okay, so I'm just outside again. <laughs> That's probably a classroom where I can learn something that I already know. But I bet there's someone upstairs to battle. Are you somebody I need to battle? The trainers who will take part in this lesson may be in- Oh no, you're the teacher. Or the president or the principal or whatever. Trainers who will take part in this lesson may be inside or outside the school. You may also want to visit our classrooms. You'll be sure to learn a lot. Oh, so is there a trainer in a classroom for me to battle? Oh, there's so many classrooms. Oh. So I can't go up the stairs. Okay. And I can't go through that door. I guess there is somebody for me to battle in one of these classrooms. Oh, this is the computer lab here. Slowpoke's yawn is a move that can put your opponent to sleep in battle. When a Pokemon is asleep, it can't do anything till it wakes up. Uh-huh. Let's go to another classroom. And there was one downstairs I guess I need to go to. Oh, this is just... This is an actual classroom. Oh, look at the little Pokeball little magnets up there. That's cute. Abilities are basically special skills all Pokemon have, can make special things happen, limber, any Pokemon who has the ability won't ever be paralyzed by an opponent's move. Okay, cool. <laughs> Got all those basics out of the way. I guess back downstairs is, uh, oh wait, no this is one I need to go in. Oh no it's not. <laughs> um, so downstairs, green door. Hopefully is where my trainer is that I need to battle. Because that's the only other place for me to go. Well? Hmm. We occasionally ask Professor Kikui to run a special class for our school. He's done a great deal of research into Pokemon moves after all. Hmm. Oh, on how to heal your Pokemon. Okay, I don't need to know that. <laughs> and she's reading to me. Well, where's the other trainer I need to battle? Seems like she would be it. Hmm. Can't go in there. I'm gonna try to go up the stairs one more time. Nope. Hmm. Okay, well I'm gonna cut to when I find the trainer to battle. <laughs> Alright, guess who's dumb? So I came through that gate, and I guess this guy probably, mm-hmm, wants to battle. I was like, oh, that's another route. <sighs> I'm so dumb. Alright, Youngster Joey. Hey! <laughs> that's my boyfriend's name. Not Youngster, just Joey. 
I mean, he has a last name, but his first name's Joey. You get what I'm saying. Oh goodness, he's got a Metapod! Big Kahuna- I'm gonna say Big Kahuna like a million times just to get the pun out there. <sighs> Alright, let's use- let's use Charm on Metapod. Aw, isn't it cute? Yeah, attack harshly fell. This isn't gonna hurt me at all. <laughs> so yeah, now I can tap on my enemy Pokemon and it shows that his attack has gone down two steps. Good job, Pichu. I can't remember... Electric. Okay, that did a pretty good amount of damage. That might just be because I'm one level above him, I don't know. Nice, a critical hit. Oh, Metapod used Harden. <laughs> defense going up. I wonder how much. Just one? Yeah, his defense rose one. Attack still down one. Um, I'll use Thunder Shock one more time and wipe him out. Then I can go battle the, um, the fella out fr in front of the school. Yay! Oh my goodness, everybody's leveling up. Woohoo! I defeated Joey. Ha ha, honey. <laughs> I don't know about tactic tactics and stuff because I haven't been doing my homework. Well, do your homework there, buddy boy. Poisoning an opponent will slowly drain its HP. Paralyzing them can prevent its attacks. Pokemon moves have all sorts of different effects, so watch out for them. Okay. It's over here. What's this? It looks like a little weather um, shelter thing. Oh, yay, a thing! I'm just trying to carefully walk through it without running into too many Pokemon. Um, there's gotta be something down here. Yeah. And a Paralyze Heal. I didn't even need to buy those things. I just have so much money, like, why wouldn't I buy them? <laughs> okay, back to the front of the school for my final battle at trainer school. <laughs> And here he is. Oh wait, do I need to- I might move, um, I think I'll move Rallet to the front here. Um, and I'll give him a potion too. Yay! Alright, let's battle the best guy here. Ooh, we're like standing on the field. You want to know why I want to be strongest? Because it's cool to be strong. Duh. Alright, dude. <laughs> it's gotta be cool. Look at that cool haircut. Rising Star Joseph. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a Joey and a Joseph. <laughs> so, oh, he's got an Alolan Grimer. Cool. Um, I call Joey both Joey and Joseph. Um, not Joe, though. Just Joey or Joseph. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, so I've got a whole array of moves that I could use on him. I'm gonna go with Leafage, and I gave Rowlet. Oh yeah, Rowlet's Quick Claw let it move first. Awesome. Good job, Quick Claw. It's not very effective. Aw, poop. Next time I'll know that. <laughs> uh, I'll use Peck, see what that does. That one did a lot more. Oh, he's making his defense go up. Game changer. I'll peck him again. Hopefully that'll- it'll take me two more moves to- to get him. Oh no, but his defense rose, so it went up a little bit- or it, uh, didn't do as much damage. Um... It's a power 40. Hex power 35. Okay, so I'll use tackle then, I guess. Oh my goodness, come on. Oh no, he's biting me again. You guys. Alright, I'm gonna switch Pokemon real quick here. I'm going to bring out Pichu. Of course. Ooh, I think I have the uh, volume up a little bit more than I did before. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, Pichu fainted! What just happened? Oh my god, I was not even paying attention. Oh, I guess his HP was low and I wasn't... wasn't paying attention. Hmm. 
Okay, so Rattata is going to use... I guess quick attack? Yeah, I don't see why not. Good, that got him. Sucks to be you, Grimer. And Joseph. <laughs> 104 experience points, nice! Oh, Rowlet's leveling up! <gasps> he wants to learn the move Astonish! Should an old move be forgotten and replaced with Astonish? Um, let's see what Astonish does first. Ooh, Astonish is a ghost attack. Um, power's only 30, but its accuracy is 100. The user attacks the target while shouting in a startling fashion. This may also make the target flinch. Cool. Um... I might replace Growl with that, because I really don't use um, moves like that. If it like harshly affected um, the attack stat, then maybe, but it just lowers their attack by one, and I just don't ever find those super useful, so I'm going to forget it. Rowlet forgot how to use Growl and learned Astonish. That's cool, he learned a ghost, ghost move super early. It's extremely frustrating, but you're stronger than me. How many times have I heard that from a Joseph? <laughs> None. He's so much stronger than me. It's ridiculous. Like, he'll be tickling me, and which I hate. I hate being tickled, but he does it sometimes, and it's just impossible for me to break free. He's so much stronger than me. <sighs> now I'm thinking about being tickled. I'm getting all stressed. Uh, no, that wasn't cool at all. Maybe I should aim for being pretty instead? But fine, <laughs> whatever. I can admit it when I'm beat. I'll give you a reward even. Take this technical machine. Okay. TM01, work up. Cool. You open up the TM's pocket and put TM01 in. Okay, first thing to know about TM's. Technical machines teach new techniques. They'll give your Pokemon a new move in a flash, but if your Pokemon can't learn the move in a TM, then too bad. You're up the creek, pal. <laughs> Second thing to know about TMs, you can use a TM as many times as you want on as many different Pokemon as you want. They don't wear out or get used up. Pretty nice gift. Yep. Good job. So, I thought they did away, I mean, they did away with HMs. Um, oh, lovely. Oh, that's the school bell. Attention all students, would Misha please come to the office on 2F? Misha to the office, the 2F office please. Second floor office. What terrible thing did you do to get called to the office so soon? <laughs> Nothing. What did I do? That's what you say. Oh, it's called to the office already. Naughty girl, it's off to 2F with you. Oh god. Rotom is uh, getting a little weird on me. <laughs> god, this episode has been long. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to end the episode here and in... The next episode tomorrow I will go to the office and probably get um, I don't know certified as graduating from trainer school or something um, where's my little save button there we go um, yeah, I played for almost an hour this time I guess I played for 40 minutes um, yeah, so I'm loving this game so far. I'm really excited to get out there and start my island challenge and go see the other islands and see all the new Pokemon. It's oh, very exciting. Um, I hope you all are enjoying watching me play. I hope you're enjoying the game if you are also playing it. If you want to follow my other social media, uh, links are in the description box below. You all have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another and don't forget to be awesome. Bye.